Welcome everybody to a new vlog. Uh, here we are just in the taxi now. We're actually heading from Bali to Lombok, which is actually part of Indonesia. It's another island. Uh, we only have to fly 30 minutes. So most of the hard work is getting to the airport and then getting from the airport to our hotel. So come along with us today as we fly to Lombok. I'm gonna basically piece together some uh, little bits as we travel along. So this is kind of gonna be an interesting uh, day today because we're gonna see how many types of transportation we can take in one day. Now, how many do you think we're gonna take? Three or Three. four. Three or four. Three or four. So first Eight we're gonna, so car, aeroplane, aeroplane. car, Again, car, boat, and, boat horse. and then horse. <laughs> so we're gonna take four types of transportation. So I hope you're ready. So stick around and enjoy the vlog today. Okay, bye. So this is Katut, our driver. Yeah. All right, and actually as we look out the window here, let's see, it's a little bit sunny. We have a little bit of traffic. So one of the most notable things in Bali is the amount of scooters and motorbikes. So we're heading basically on the, it's called the bypass road, uh, which takes us straight to the airport. It kind of cuts out all of Kuta, and all of the traffic of the beach areas. So off we go to the airport. So this is the main entrance to the domestic airport here in Bali. So there's actually the international airport, and then there's the domestic airport. This was originally the international airport before they built the new terminal. So here you'll see us just going through the initial uh, entrance. So basically you have to show your uh, boarding pass or your printed out itinerary basically. A lot of people use their phone or a printed itinerary. And then you walk on in and then you've got one uh, bag checkpoint okay, where you go through security. And then you head up then to the check-in counters for your respective airline. So we're actually going to be flying Lion Air today, which is one of the domestic airlines within Indonesia. And we'll head to the counter in the next video. Check-in is pretty simple. You just have to find the counter for your airline, line up. Generally at the domestic, it is a little bit busier though because there's a lot more people traveling to a lot more flights within Indonesia. Once you've checked your bags, you just head on up to the departure lounge and find your gate. You excited? Yes. Yeah? Check-in all done. No worries. Next stop is Lombok. Lombok. Okay. Here we go to the boarding gate. That's our plane just off in the distance there, Lion Air. I mean, you can actually see the runway just behind. Actually, there's a few planes lined up ready to go. So we have a short taxi for the takeoff. That's the next boarding gate just alongside where we are. Okay, off we go down to the plane. So this is transportation method number two. So we're off to the plane now. And being the domestic airport, it's a little bit uh, simpler way to get on. We're gonna go down the steps. Okay, we're ready to board the plane. Okay everybody, we're here in Lombok and off we go to get our luggage and then we wait for our driver. So I'm really curious, there's around about four or five hundred uh, luggage trolleys here. Maybe more than that I think. And there's only two carousels for luggage. There's one right here, and this is the second one on the other side. And these are the only two carousels, and they've got, actually they're marked on the back there, check out that, that's 755 trolley number, so maybe they've got a thousand, and only two gates, or two carousels for luggage, so how funny is that? <laughs> Okay, so while we're waiting for the luggage to arrive, Jen, how was your uh, exhausting flight? It was perfect. Perfect. How was the food? <laughs> movie, in-flight movie? Uh -huh. 
You like the in-flight movie? 20 minutes flight. 20 minutes flight. And the flight was 40 minutes delayed. <laughs> so we'll keep waiting for the luggage. This is the famous thing of Indonesia. You wait longer for the luggage than the length of your flight. Okay, so we're just heading out now to the exit. So we're in the car now. We found our driver and we're heading to the harbor. We're going to stop for lunch. We have about an hour drive. I think the driver is about one hour, right? Or longer? Yeah, it's, it's up to you. If you're in, uh, in hurry, <laughs> we can go faster. <laughs> And uh, but you're not you're not Michael Schumacher, no? <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe Sebastian Vettel. Uh, in my dreams. In your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so on the way to the the harbor, we decided to stop for coconuts. So the uh, guy here has his machete, and we are literally on the side of the road. So. Yeah. No, oh, perfect. So that's it. Simple as that. The guy cuts it, you get two straws, and everybody is happy. What do you think? Good? So here we are in St. Gigi in Lombok, and we think we've come to the most amazing KFC in the whole world because. Check out the view. Now, the only thing is, I think they're building a... Looks like a beach club right in front. There's a swimming pool for sure. Probably a bar coming soon. But the beach is right there. You'll see it's kind of like a black sand beach. But it is probably the most amazing view for a KFC I've ever been to personally. All right, let's keep going, shall we? We're almost at the boat. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away from the ferry dock now, or the boat dock. And then we're going to get a speedboat over to Gilly Air. So as we're going along here, we've got a bit of a mountains to get up and down. And I'm not sure if you're aware, uh, Lombok was hit by an earthquake about a month ago. Actually, and as I say that, can you see that? wall that's kind of collapsed. We're not going to see too many houses in this little short footage, but we can see the beach over here. Um, yeah, when we get to the dock, we'll get back with more videos. Oh, look at this steep downhill. It's like the Swiss Alps of Indonesia. Wow. It's going past some of the little uh, warungs on the side of the road. Okay, so we've arrived at the, the dock to catch the boat. And I'm not sure if you guys are aware there was the earthquake. So again, this is actually the waiting area and the bath was the bathrooms. And you can see the kind of cracks in the building there. And then basically the, the, the kind of ground underneath is just sort of collapsed completely. So. Let's head on out to the boat. So if you're keeping count, this is now our third method of transportation. This is a big dock here, by the way. You'll see all the speedboats here, pretty much all going back and forward to the Gili Islands. What did you notice, Jen? What's that? What do we see? Fish? fish. Shane is not talking now, but small fish. Just as we're getting on the boat, and one guy trying to catch the fish. Hopefully, he has some good luck today. He has two fishing rods, so uh, and our boat is right here. So let's head on down and let's go. No, that's not our boat, by the way. Okay, that's our boat. Thanks, catch you later. Okay. Bye. All right, off we go. Yeah, excited? Uh-huh. Whoa. <laughs>
Alright, so we've just arrived and we're going to do the perfect three-point turn here. Our guys here, the captain and his, what do you call, first mate, they're going to basically park us on the same street as our hotel. You guys are excited, right? A little bit. Where those white chairs are, that's the side lane where our hotel is. So. I don't think we can get any closer to the beach. So in case you're impressed, that's the restaurant for Turtle Beach, right there. And here we are guys, this is the third method of transportation. Thanks a lot mate, cheers. And... We just have a short two or three minute walk to our room. I think at the most two minutes. Thanks very much. And let's find our room, shall we? Off we go. So one of the kind of uh, famous things about Gili Air is there's no transportation here. There is only horses and cart and a bicycle. So, we were going to take that fourth form of transportation, which was horse and cart, but because our boat driver dropped us at the exact street where our hotel is, we only have to walk now straight up the street. So that fourth mode of transportation, I didn't have to take. We were thinking we would have to take the driver, but we didn't. So, here we are just walking up our laneway. And we are just up the way from here. Okay, everybody, I'm here at the room. This is actually uh, the breakfast area. And over here on the right is the pool. And we have a nice archway leading to the pool. And we got a nice welcome drink. I got orange. Jen, you got which one? Papaya. 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 Fresh papaya with uh, ice. So and our room is right here. I'm going to show you a little bit later a walk around of the room. For now we're going for a swim. And I hope you've liked this little bit of a journey from Bali to Gili Air. So we're off out now for the evening. Now Jane, where are we off to? We are going to see sunset. Sunset. So basically straight ahead of us, we can't probably see through the trees. But the beach is on the western side of the island. Ooh. Hi! Sorry. Didn't say hello. One more hello. hello. Hi. So we're off to see the sunset and next thing you're going to see us at the beach. Okay. So here we are at the beach on the western side of Gili Air. It's a little windy today, but still beautiful. And our swing is still here. A little bit further on the beach. I wonder if that's because of a the high tide or low tide. Everybody is just chilling today. So I've been coming to Gili Air for about five years now and this swing's been here the whole time. They've actually moved it a little bit further into the beach. It used to be out in the water so you would have to kind of traipse out at high tide and low tide to get out there. And I was actually going to just let this part of the video run as it was, but it was so windy that I had to sort of do a little bit of a voiceover instead. So you're hearing my voice instead of watching the video in the natural uh, surroundings. So I hope that's okay. Beautiful sunset, by the way. And then you can see off to the left there, that's Lombok. And that sort of cloud and 
different thing there is just very cool. And then this is the swing. This is actually us on the swing. So what do you think, Jen? There's Jen waving. And it's pretty cool. I haven't been on a swing for years and years. So, so Jen, what do you think of the sunset? So I'm going to leave you with a few stills of the beach, some photographs that we took and add them to this little part of the video. And we're just about at the end of the video now. So I hope you've had a good time and stick around for these few photos. They're very cool. We were going to end the video right here uh, with the ending credits kind of being the photographs, but we had one little surprise ending on the way home. So let me get to the last bit right now. Okay, everybody, here's the surprise ending, which for some is probably not a surprise, and for others, and for us it was, as we left the beach to walk back to actually go for our dinner and then come back to the room, the whole island just went totally black. So for about maybe two hours, we had complete blackout on the island. We went to go for dinner, and all the places were closed because there's no power. <laughs> it's quite funny. We went for dinner and we were fortunate to find a place that has a generator that was uh, serving dinner. So we're now back at the room and about 15 minutes after we got back, the power's just come back on. So we're lucky to be filming it with a little bit of light. So uh, thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, everybody. If you're a subscriber, welcome. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, welcome back, I think I should say. If you're a new viewer to the channel, Give the subscribe button a click and also the notification bell so you can be aware of new videos as we upload them. And I hope you've had a good day with Jen and I traveling from Bali to Lombok. Jen, did you have a good time? Yes. Jen's filming for me now. So she's my newest uh, camera lady, cameraman. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and post a comment in the bottom of the video. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel and enjoy the rest of your day.